I was given life 200 years ago. I am like none other. Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Steven Merced here from geek.nation.com, and today I'm going to be talking about I, Frankenstein which is the new film that looks a lot like Underworld. If you replace the werewolves and vampires, throw in some gargoyles and some demons, you pretty much got the same exact film. Except this one stars Aaron Eckhart, which we all know from the Dark Knight, of course, he's Harvey Dent. But the little twist here is that he plays Frankenstein's monster. If you guys don't know, um, Victor Frankenstein created Frankenstein, uh, or Frankenstein's monster, and he kind of became a myth, a legend. You know, the horror fans love this monster and I don't think they're gonna love this movie. Uh, this movie takes that myth, kind of Hollywoodizes it a bit. If you guys don't know what that means, it means it uh, turned it into a blockbuster style of movie. Action heavy, no scares, nothing really like that. It kind of just took it all away. Um, and pretty much what happens here is that Frankenstein's monster, who doesn't really have a name, gets thrown into the middle of this war between gargoyles and demons. The demons want him, the gargoyles want to protect him. And he's in the middle of it just kind of with the battle, you know, kind of the same way the Underworld did it where, you know, the Romeo and Juliet aspect was kind of like that, but you know, werewolves and vampires don't get along so they were fighting. Well, that's kind of what we have here. We have that, but uh, it's kind of Hollywoodized, but you know what? Let's get into my review. Come with me. Entire army monsters like me, tens of thousands of them, could mean the end of all mankind. When I first saw this trailer, I was like, oh shit, I'm not gonna like this movie because I don't like the Underworld series. Never have, never really, you know, I like Kate Beckinsale, I think she's hot. And for the first part of this movie, I was like, oh, crap, I'm not gonna like this. And then this chick appeared on the screen. I don't know who she is, but damn, this chick is hot as hell. I don't know who she was, but she appeared in the movie like three times. And I was like, every time she appeared, I was like, holy shit, you are, you are hot. I, you're, you're my Kate Beckinsale. That doesn't really last, but whatever. After she gets out of the way, I'm like, okay, movie is starting off. I'm like, oh, it's not that bad, not too bad. Then I start to be like, I'm actually enjoying this film a little bit. I am. I mean, don't get me wrong, the dialogue is completely cheesy and corny and goddamn whoever wrote this is fucking pathetic. But I'm like, Aaron Eckhart is selling me on this. I mean, he's selling me as Frankenstein's monster. I'm like, holy shit, like this guy who's a phenomenal actor who just keeps picking bad movies after The Dark Knight. I mean, he hasn't really done anything great since then or anything I can remember him in. Um, he's selling me on this little horrible dialogue, horrible story. I mean, the story is like the demons are coming after Frankenstein and I... Honestly, can't tell you why. I mean, they want to create some type of army of the undead, of soulless, or something like that. I mean, the story is whatever. But he's selling me. I mean, he's doing things. He's, you know, giving me a little bit of the Bruce Wayne, Batman, Dark Knight type thing with the raspy voice. I'm like, I'm kind of digging this. All right, keep going. And, you know, he's he's out for revenge. He kind of has this thing where he's like, you know what? They're after me. I'm going to go after them. Take, take care of them before they get to me. And I'm like, okay, revenge story. And, you know, goes from there. And there's some interesting action scenes. And I'm like, all right, this action scene isn't horrible. They're not complete horse shit. It's really well choreographed. So it's got that going for it. Don't get me wrong, a lot of people are going to hate this movie. They're going to be like, dear Jesus, this movie's cheesy, corny, all of the bad stuff. And I'm going to tell you guys, yeah, it is that. It's pretty bad. And at the same time, it's pretty fun. This film was fun to watch for me for some odd reason. I mean, the CGI is really bad, but the action sequences really did it for me. Aaron Eckhart sold me on it. Uh, the chick from Chuck, um, I'm not sure what her name is, but I just call her Sarah, because that's what she was called on Chuck, because I love Chuck, but uh, she's in it. No real point to have her in it. I mean, that's one of the flaws of this film to me, is that they put people in it, and you're just kind of, why are you in it? I don't know. I mean, you don't really have a purpose here, but all right, we're gonna throw you in there anyway. Spewing all this mumbo jumbo about science stuff that I don't think is true. Um, there's some horrible animation. I mean, yeah, animatronics, whatever you wanna call the rat thing in this movie, that's just pretty bad. I mean, people started laughing, I was chuckling to myself. Um, some of the CGI for the most part is not atrocious, but there's times where it's, it's pretty bad, man. There's times where the CGI is 
almost got off him. You will laugh at this movie, and I'm talking about unintentional laughs, but the movie didn't, I didn't hate it. I mean, I didn't hate it. I don't know why I didn't hate it. I think it was corny, cheesy, horribly dialogued. I mean, just a bunch of bad shit, but it was still fun. Um, but yeah, so I didn't hate the film. I'm going to overall give the film a three out of five. I mean, maybe it's high. I don't know. I just, I didn't hate the film, and I didn't walk out, like, being like, oh, shit, I really turned to watch the movie. I walked going, huh, that was, that was fun. It was fun. It was. I don't know. It was fun to me. Three out of five for me. I don't know. It's fun. But then again, I gave Paranormal Activity, the marked ones, a three out of five. And people seem to hate that too. But uh, if you want to see more about this review or this movie, uh, go to geek.nation.com. I just wrote my review last night. And actually, on that website, I'll probably put my reviews up first because I like to write them out first. Um, but yeah, so check it out there and let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys thought of the film overall. And um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you are still watching this part of the video, that means that you've enjoyed what I have to say or you uh, don't know what's on and you kind of forgot to exit out. But if you are here, thank you. Thank you very much. But um, I'm going to do something here where I used to do a while ago and I'm going to do leave it for the end of the videos just because I don't want to throw it at the beginning and, you know, confuse people or whatever. But I'm going to throw a little clip here. It's going to be kind of like a guess that movie clip and what that is going to be is going to be guess the movie um, or yeah, I guess the movie, because I'm going to show you guys the actor. And pretty much we'll start and go from there. So pretty much guess this movie from the audio clip that I'm going to throw at you. And I will try to remember to answer it either on my next review or next video. or My next review is fine. On my next review, I'll try to remember to answer this question. But see if you guys can guess what movie this is from. And it's going to be starring that guy. It's just a dog. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, just a little doggy. Come here, come here. It's just a dog. 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 What's his name, huh? Glenn. Oh, you kidding me? Who's the idiot naming dogs these days, Lieutenant? What do you want to call him? Fido? Watch your head! Watch your head! Not Fido! Watch your head! Fuck it! Yes! Give me an inch and down that alley! Sergeant! Curse! Fuck that! Oh, man! Get out of here! Where did he come from? Oh, man! What do you see? I don't know, man. So if you know what the answer is to that audio clip, make sure you guys comment below, let me know, and be like, Steven, that was too easy. Or Steven, I have no fucking clue what movie this is. Yeah, as always, comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this video wasn't too long for you guys, but there we go. See you guys later.